the game. It's a red stick. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Um, so I don't know, today isn't like a normal video. Like, I don't have anything planned out. I'm just kind of talking. I'm just talking, okay? So, um, I don't know. It's just gonna be a lot. I'm just gonna be kind of talking about how I feel about this year. Um, some things that I want for next year. Um, some goals, some hardships that I encountered this year. I don't know, I'm just gonna be talking about it all. Like, this is kind of like an open note to myself, but I'm putting it out for y'all. Like, I want y'all to hear this because I feel like there are gonna be some words of wisdom and gems that like, I'm gonna be saying about myself, but that can like be applied to everyone. And I'm like, I also have some things like, I do just wanna share with y'all. So yeah, it's gonna be talking, you know, just be chilling. So sit back, relax and enjoy. <laughs> So, um, I think I'm gonna start with like kind of a reflection of this, of this, I can't talk. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm gonna start with like a reflection of this year, like how my 2020 went, um, personally, just how I feel about 2020 in general. So the beginning of this year was really crazy. Like, I think it definitely started off crazy. I mean, you know, New Year's was cool. New Year's was cool. Like, nothing nothing happened. I was chilling on New Year's. But then, you know, like, as we got further into the month, we had, like, some stuff shake the world for real. Like, we had um, Kobe die. Like, that was that was just crazy. That was crazy. And not only, like, the day that he died, that was my baby brother's asking. That was his birthday. So, like, it really just, like, sat with me. Like, I will forever, like, remember that day. Not only because he died, but, like, dang, he died on my brother's birthday. So, I don't know. That stuck with me. So, I was like, dang, like, that was setting in a, a tone for 2020, I feel like. It definitely set the tone for 2020 and when i say set the tone i mean like man it, it like it was it shook us like it was getting us like prepared or maybe awake for like yeah this year's i don't know i don't know so like i mean but overall like january was cool like, i can't really ain't got much to say about that now what i can say about like the beginning of the year in general like with covid and everything like just money i was really really broke i'm not gonna say i was broke but like I didn't have a job and previously in 2019 like that fall semester I was trying to look for a job could not find one like I was applying everywhere nobody was calling me back nobody was hiring me like I was just so you know money was like really on my agenda like just trying to really get some financial stability security like that's what I was going into 2020 with and um okay so actually let's go ahead and backtrack some so in like 2016, more so actually not even 2016, in 2018, I used to tell my best friend this all the time, and she can attest for this. I always would be like, 2020 is going to be my year. 2020 is going to be my year. I was always speaking about 2020. I'm like, you know, I just feel it. Like 2020 is going to be something. Like something's going to happen. Like 2020 is going to be a year. Like, I was, was like, though, this is going to be my year. Like 2020 is it. So boom, we in 2029. I was like two years later, we in 2029. And I was speaking about this. I was like, you know, in 2020, um, I'm gonna have my boyfriend. You know, in 2020, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Like, I was always just speaking about 2020 in a, in a and now that I think about it, the like now that I'm saying this out loud to y'all, I feel like in a sense I kind of manifested what has happened for this year. But Let's just go ahead and, like I said, reflect back and just and just see. Let's just go ahead. So, anyways, we said January. All right, so February, boom, February happened. February was cool. You know, it was my birthday month. Like, you know, February gang, what up, Aquarius gang, gang. You know, you know. So, February happened. My birthday's February 10th, by the way. If y'all didn't know, y'all probably didn't. So, now you do. So, yeah, February, you know, was cool. We had my birthday, Valentine's Day. February is actually lit because we have Fizz. Again, if you don't know what Fizz is, I actually have a whole video of it on my channel. So, y'all should go check that out. But February was lit. Like, February was cool. March okay March came and like this is when stuff really started like shaking up because this was like kind of the beginning of COVID like you know COVID really just came and shook stuff up so yeah this was like the beginning of COVID so um I mean 
when I think about March, I don't really think of anything significant. Like, I was just really in school, just trying to get by in school, doing good in school, whatever. So, April came, you know, boom. Now we getting, like, kicked out of school. Like, you can't be on campus no more. You got to go home type stuff. I was like, all right. And, you know, this is what stuff started hitting the fan because, like I said, I couldn't find a job. You definitely could not find a job then. Like, when COVID was hitting for you, like, you, oh, no, 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 I'm tripping, I'm tripping, I'm tripping. So, like I said, I could not find a job in, like, 2019, January. February came, and I ended up applying to Play-Doh's Closet. I applied to Play-Doh's Closet, and I got the job. I got hired in February. So, I was finally about to, like, start having steady income. All right, yeah, I'm missing a really big piece. So, like I said, I was coming in the 2020 a little shaky because of that situation. So, February came, I got a job. I was cooling. I was starting to like, you know, work, build my money, whatever. So, um, you know, I was working there for like a month, or, like a month and a half. Like I said, April, in the March, whatever. We come, boom, we get kicked out. We get kicked out of school. COVID is here. We is on lockdown, quarantine. And I remember like when I was forced to go back home, I was just sitting here like, dang. Like, you know, right when I was finally starting to, like, kind of get on my feet, I feel like, and get stable and, like, just get to where I wanted, it kind of, like, got took it from me. It got pulled and, like, it was like, no. And, like, I just got kind of pushed into a whole different direction. Realizing, like, well, looking back now, I'm realizing, like, that was, like, pushing me into the direction that I'm in now to where I am now, which is truly a blessing. But anyways, like I said, we'll get to that. So, you know, I remember I went home and again, I, I was back jobless, so now I'm home. Now, um, school is online, it's just everything going on. Like, being home was cool, because, you know, I was with family, and, like, my boyfriend lives here. I have my friends down here. Like, it, it was cool. It was cool. Only thing was, like, online school, like, really sucked. Like, that transition, like, you can do it, and it's not that bad, but I just... Mm, it was just that transition it was a lot especially like being home like i live in jacksonville but of course i go to school in gainesville so like it's just different being here in jacksonville because it's like a different setting so i have different stuff to do here versus like gainesville just mostly school 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 because i'm there for school but in jacksonville it's like school family friends this that like you you can just do more so that was a transition that was something getting used to just like making sure i get in routine and things but i'm still fine i mean i made all a's last semester so I ain't no one to brag, but that was like, I was like dating COVID with the pandemic and everything. Like, I, I was very proud of myself. So anyways, boom. So now like the semester ended again, that's like April. Okay, April. So then May comes and you know, it's like summer, but it wasn't really summer for me because I ended up taking um summer classes. So I had like a two week break. But during that time I was chilling and I remember um, I was applying, applying, applying to places. And I ended up applying to Walmart. And I remember on, like, my last day of school for the spring semester, I, like, got a call. Or, no, like, that week. That week. I got a call for Walmart. She, like, basically hired me on the phone. So I was like, okay, boom. I ain't got school right now. And when I do start school, I'm, on, I'm only going to have, like, three classes to take over the summer. Like, light work. So I can work. I can build my money. Like, it's grind time. The grind time is the prime time. So I was on it. I was, like, really had my mindset like trying to just build myself up just have money not to mention i have signed a lease so back in 2019 i signed my lease for 2020 in the apartment that i'm in now so i already knew like you know i ain't really got money for rent but i'm gonna need to have money for rent like asap so i was really trying to work for that like i had a mission i had a goal i was on it so um you know during that time like i said it was covid and I go to UL, I go to the University of Florida, and I'm not gonna lie, that school has money. That school has money. UL has money, like, they have money, period. And, you know, just during that time, they were giving out, like, aid to students, and not just UF, like, colleges in general, because they were getting it from the government. But, like, UF could've did that without the government funds, but, like, okay, whatever, we're not gonna talk about that. So, anyways, they was giving out, um, um aid to students in need and it was like people who were, who were already getting like Pell grants or like if your EFC was like low like you was already getting government aid you automatically was getting money like you didn't have to apply for it or nothing so people getting like thousands of dollars like hundreds of dollars just instantly to them 
And I was like, dang, like, as somebody who's literally sitting here struggling, like, again, I didn't have a job. So it was hard for me to, like, sit here and really buy food when I needed to, like, just buy the certain things that I need to because I just didn't have the funds right then and there. I had to always kind of penny pinch with what I had. I'm like, well, dang, I could have some money coming to, into my account, like, for the free. What? So sadly for me my efc was really high because my mom is a pharmacist i know people like when they hear that like girl your mom a pharmacist you do this you do that but like all my mama money don't go to me my mama got a house she got another kid like she got expenses she got cars to pay like let's be for real so it's not like she's sitting here paying for my college out of pocket so loans and stuff and loans go to school so like yeah, scholarships, scholarships, they weren't giving me no money back. They was paying my tuition and then what was left over, I had to pay. So like money was kind of like an issue. I was getting by, but like I, I definitely needed more to be stable and to definitely get to where I wanted. So yeah, um, I don't know. I'm kind of all over the place, but I'm sure I'm sure y'all following along. <laughs> so yeah, like when I got that job, I was really happy because and when I say when I got that job, I'm talking about Walmart now. So when I got Walmart, I was really happy because you know, like boom, I can stack up my money. I don't have to like just you know sit here and worry about that. But anyway, so yeah, like I was saying, they was giving federal relief uh funds to everybody. But people like me, because like I said, my mom is a pharmacist, my EFC was high. They told me some I could pay like 17 grand, 16 grand, 21 grand for college out of pocket. They think that we just gonna come and pull 21 grand out the pocket and be like, here, here you go. Like, what? No, we don't. What? Okay, whatever. So I wasn't getting no government aid, just literally scholarships and then loans. Loans, loans, loans. <sighs> so, <laughs> like, for people like me, we had to apply for aid. We had to literally sit there and ask them for money when you have enough money to literally just give your students. Like, if you know that we're getting this place, you know we're in a pandemic. I mean, I ain't gonna count. Everybody don't need the money, but I mean, I, I just feel like it would have been nice for the millionaires. But anyways, whatever. We had to apply for aid. So I ended up applying for aid. They didn't want to really give me too much, but they gave me like, like, like a couple hundred dollars. So I was like, okay, whatever. I used that to like, you know, help me travel, get by, just get situated. And then I was working here at Walmart building my money. Then they ended up like giving out some more money. They ended up giving out like more money to people. And my friends were telling me about it and you had to apply. So again, I applied and I remember they gave me like 800 and something dollars. They gave me 800 and something dollars. I forgot the exact amount. Maybe I can like put it somewhere, but they gave me 800 and something dollars. And it's like, I know my spending habits are kind of bad. Like, I was getting better at saving, but like, when you don't have a lot to save, it's hard to save. So, when I get those $800, being that they did give me like money like a couple weeks prior, I was like, okay, what did I do with this money I just had? Like, I don't have it. What am I doing? What can I do? Like, no, when I get this money, I need to be wise about it. I need to be smart. Like, I remember saying, I'm like, okay, I have a job. I'm going to be getting this check soon. I got these this $800 right here like what can I do and that is when the idea of a business started popping into my head this was like May and from then on out I just started doing research like I don't know like I just became really driven I just started looking up YouTube videos um I started thinking it's like what did I want to sell first of all because me starting to sell jewelry just didn't come it just didn't happen overnight I was like okay first of all I don't want to sell hair everybody sell hair and you know i don't really wear weave myself so i'm not finna wear something that i don't really promote something that i'm not going to be doing so that was like one of the first things to help me narrow down to what i wanted to sell boom 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 started thinking about it. i was like okay boom jewelry i like jewelry and i don't really have a lot of it but i was like if i get a jewelry business I'm, my jewelry collection is definitely gonna like come up so and it definitely has like, i definitely got jewelry now i'm very proud of myself but yeah i was like, okay boom I can use this money to sit here and start a business to help bring me oncoming revenue. That was really my goal. Like, I don't know. I think I have it in my journal written here where I call it money making. Yeah. Money making 2020. These are like a list of my YouTube ideas, but it says money making 2020. Like I had wrote this in like, I think 2019. And that was just my goal. That was my motive. Like, I just wanted a way to make sure that I was going to have money coming in. I needed money. So, again, when I seen those $800, it was just like, okay, click. 
I'm not finna sit here and just spend this money and then be broke and then sit here and work and work and work. And like, you know, I'm not gonna be working for that long. Soon I'm gonna be going back to school and I'm gonna still have rent. So yeah, something had to give. So I got those $800 and I was doing my research and I finally got together. I was like, okay, I'm gonna start a business. So I, you know, I got my vendors and stuff. I got product. I made my logo. Like I did everything on my own. Like when I say everything on my own, I did everything on my own. And then I moved in silence. Like, people knew I was starting a business, but only certain people, like, probably, they can, I can, it's probably less people than my fingers feel like. I was really, it's not that I didn't want people to know, but certain things you just have to move in silence about until you just have it because people can wish bad on you and things might not work out as they should. You might not come out with stuff like the day you want to say it. And it's just, I didn't want to get people's expectations high and I didn't want people in my business until I had my business settled. So yeah, you know, that's why like, if you were like really following my Instagram, like when I first dropped my business, I was doing like a five day countdown. And I was just like, I got a surprise coming in five days like look out for this and i'm just doing the countdown and like dropping youtube videos doing hints like stuff like that and then boom on like the last day i got a business drop i i, I dropped the business and then you know everybody's like oh my god like what like yeah and i'm just like yeah you know like this is what i've been doing like something just had to give i don't know it's just it just sparked in me like i always said like 2020 was gonna be my year but i kid you not the day I dropped my business from there on out, 2020, like, took a turn upwards for me. Like, I don't know. I feel like overall, we had a lot of bad stuff happen and that has encompassed us as a whole. But, like, personally for me, I just felt like this year, especially with the times we were in in this pandemic, it was the time for growth. And it was the time for self-growth because we were inside so much and, you know, we just really had times to ourselves. So it's like a lot of self-realization, a lot of self-actualization. Like, I feel like it was just the time for you to sit here and really realize, like, what am I doing? What do I want to do? What can I do? What can I change? Like, it was the time for you to, like, really focus on yourself, tune in with yourself. And, like, I really did that i feel like i really did that and tapped into like my inner my inner like hustling abilities my inner working abilities i don't know i just felt like i really tapped into my inner potential because i just knew i wanted to do more and i know i have always known i want to do stuff on my own terms i never enjoy working i never enjoy like having to be on somebody's schedule having to go somewhere be there at a certain time like don't get me wrong i was gonna work I mean, for the most part, I always had a job. That's why I understand, like, 2019, like, you know, those last, like, three, four months of 2019 was really hard because I didn't have a job. Nobody was, like, hiring me, and that was so new. That was so new because I was all I was always having a job. I was used to having a job. I was used to applying to jobs, and, like, they call me around the spot. I get hired. they like, I never had, like, rejection just hit me that hard and that long for like so many times so looking back that was just preparing me to where i am now like had i not went through that then i would not be where i am now i probably wouldn't have my business because i would have been so comfortable and that's something that i've learned now during this year you have to get uncomfortable so you can get to where you want to be in order to be comfortable like you have to you can't sit here and keep falling into the same routines thinking that things are going to change like you you can't so that i just realized like that was really preparing me for where i am now so i dropped my business on july 1st and like i said from there on out i just feel like it's been a roller coaster going up and it's been great because like when i first dropped my business i made like i made i feel like for like the first day of sales especially first day of sales i did great i made like 300 dollars. i made like 300 dollars my first week and you know, like it, it definitely don't look like that. It didn't look like that all the time afterwards, but like that right there, just like, that was like, I don't know. That was my sign. Like I can do this. This can be what I want it to be. I can grow this. I can manifest this. I have this, like I put in a lot of time, work and effort research into my business. And I didn't do this just to get revenue or money, but I just wanted security, stability, like I just know I, I just wanted a bigger picture for myself and I wanted it to be on my own terms so I don't know like this this business has done a lot for me for sure for sure and not even financially wise because like 
truthfully i feel like i mean like as my people will say i'll put i'm probably putting a little more into my business and i'm getting out like you know i get money but when i get it like i want to sit here and spend it on spend it on like getting better packaging like i'm just trying to upbrand myself rebrand myself so when i do like blow up because lord knows i know it's going to happen and i'm telling you right now like 2021 is definitely going to be the year of growth it's going to be the year of growth i can feel it i have been feeling it i've been saying it like you just have to work for it but 2021 i just feel like it's going to bring in so many blessings and not just for me but for everyone but you have to really work for it and you really have to like know what you want and have that goal in mind and like i'm telling you 2021 like the sky is the limit like it's go time but um i forgot what i was even saying anyways like yeah my business opened things are going cool i was still working um i was really just working like my business you know it was open but i was really working that's my um that's how i was getting my income and i was just saving up my money i was just saving my money and um i did really good with that i really got my money from saving and once i had enough to pay my rent for the first month i went on ahead and paid it got that out the way um so like i said during the time this was also in another one of my videos i think it was like my update my update life story time type thing um but i basically got a scholarship for school um i had applied for this program back in march and i remember you know when COVID came we were supposed to get a decision like april or something COVID came and just pushed everything back so i didn't hear from them for like months and months and months and i remember they had emailed me the day i put in my application and they were like you know this isn't for people who want to be pre-med this isn't for people who want to go to med school to be a doctor and um you know that's what i'm in school for like i am a psychology pre-med major or at least i was again like i said like it's a lot to really unpack from this year but we're still going on with the with the reflection i followed up with that email saying like yeah i know that this says that this isn't for people who strictly want to be a doctor but i was like i'm really open to that idea of just seeing the different ventures i can take in life to still be what i want like i don't know take saying that and taking that leap of faith and realizing like not just taking that straight path of basically of saying oh you know since this isn't for people who just want to be a doctor i'm not going to take it but instead of actually like taking the opportunity it definitely like made a world of a difference and this has definitely helped to help me to where i am right now like definitely helped me to where i am right now it just looking back man it was a lot of signs it was a lot of things that were preparing me to where i am and to where i am headed because i am nowhere near where i can be like this is not my greatest achievement at all but like overall looking back i have done i don't know it's just been great i can't i wouldn't change anything or how it went but anyway so they came back in july and they were finally like finally like yeah you know um we're gonna interview you blah 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 did the interview they liked me boom i got in so i was really happy about this program because um it's like you have to be in a research lab and that's why they were saying this isn't for people who just want to strictly be a doctor because doctors don't really do research they do like diagnosis and stuff and like surgery but this was like doing more of like the sciencey side of things so um i thought that was cool because like personally like i said i'm a psychology major i'm all about mental health mental wellness like the well-being of others trying to help others feel great and feel good so the lab that i am in, the lab that I'm, that I'm in now is called the wells um collective lab and it's all about mental health and it's really it stands for wells equity love liberation and sexuality and that's like what we stand for that's what we research and we really look at black queer people by poc people of color like it's just it's just everything that i have been saying that i wanted like it's really crazy how i'm telling you after july 1st guys everything just started coming in together all of those hardships that i felt at the end of 2019 moving into 2020 and you know getting stable and then getting thrown out and becoming uncomfortable and then finding my restabilization along with a newfound goal like a new drive a new motive it just really set me on the right path for success and I mean, it's just amazing because things, things just started aligning so perfectly. And I just, 
it's it's just i don't know all i can say is thank you all i can just it's just really amazing and mind-boggling sometimes when i think about it because like a year ago i was not where i am right now as far as how i feel the way i um look out on things like i mean you know i'm not rich i'm not sitting here with like thousands in my bank account but i definitely feel like financial stability i'm not sitting here worried about like you know how this can get paid i just know like i don't have to worry it's gonna come type thing but anyways because like i said i keep jumping around but we're back into it i got the i got the scholarship and i'm in the lab the lab is great and the other thing about the scholarship is they pay for your tuition at school they will pay your full tuition not only do they pay your full tuition but they pay you bi-weekly so you get paid bi-weekly a certain amount of money and you're not allowed to have a job you can't have a job so i haven't had a job since i've been on this scholarship um since i started this semester ever since i quit walmart this summer i haven't had a job and that's a like once i got that i was like wow good thing i just started my own business because like the money that they gave me like yeah, don't get me wrong it helps it's great like that's what i used to pay my rent for real but that's all i would have been able to do like just with that money pay rent and then like salvage how i'm gonna still eat like still want to do the things i want to do because don't get me wrong like i'm happy enough to be able to have an apartment and to be able to get food but like i want to be able to do things inside of that i want to be able to like go on little trips and go out buy me clothes and i couldn't do that with just that money coming in like what no so i'll just like the fact that i started a business the fact that now i'm required to not have a job and i have steady income coming into me all i have to do is literally focus on school what yo i just felt like I was set. I was set in order for me to get in grind mode and to really focus on what I needed to focus on. Like, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. So, like, let me see. Now we're in, like, June, August. You know, school finally starts. I'm finally moving to my apartment. And um, from just here on out, like I said, things have just been steady. I started getting paid my bi-weekly checks. Um, you know, my business has been growing. I had finally opened my website and then I started getting orders on the site. Um, then I started like, you know, kind of getting like some out of state orders that were coming in. Like things were just slowly coming and I was just really working on myself. I was just really trying to work on my business, staying focused on school, like just doing where I am now during all that time i don't know i it's really funny looking back because in one of my videos i think in my um how i opened my business video i was talking about like manifestation and i was um in my like i put that in my thumbnail and like looking back it's really funny because i was using the word manifestation i don't even know when i started using this word but i started using it recently like i'm telling you after july 1st i'm telling you july 1st is like a monumental day it's something about july 1st that like shifted everything in my life to just to i don't know i it's really hard to explain just everything shifted everything just shifted and shifted for like the betterment for me and for the people surrounding me because it's not just me i feel like who are having these positive outcomes like my friends are really out here thriving you know my friends have businesses that they're working like they're just doing a lot of positive things and i don't know i it's y'all it's crazy anyways so i don't know when i started using that word but i remember i just started using it like really heavily really heavily didn't really know the definition they didn't know like i guess the power the usage of it and um i think really like through that word is how i got to where i'm at today and um like i said and i don't know in my life update video like my three month life update video yeah i'm referring y'all to my video so y'all can go watch them because i mean I mean, that's what I make up for, for y'all to watch, so y'all do that. But anyways, in that video, um, I was talking about how I'm starting my own spiritual journey. And I think, like, looking back, like, all of this, all that has happened has prepared me for that as well. And it definitely has, like, led me, I feel like, to a lot of answers and to, like, a lot of self-realization for myself. And just, it just made me reflect a lot. Like, that's, that's kind of what I'm doing now, just reflecting. I just reflect a lot. And it... it it's all crazy it's just beautiful when i look back at 2020 i i can easily say like this was probably gonna be hands down one of the best years of my life because it just gave me a lot of self-growth it was a lot of time for me to focus on me and figure out what i want um man like literally so 
you know, school just ended. My fall semester just ended. I'm in my junior year. This is my first semester in my junior year. And um, I just took Orgo 2. So, like I said, I'm still on a pre-med track. Or at least I was. Because, like I said, in the in the um program that I'm in, it's not for people who want to go strictly to med school. It's for people who want to, like, get their PhD so they can be, like, a researcher type thing. And, like, only reason why I said I was going to med school is because that's kind of what I've been exposed to. Like I said, my mom is a doctor. I've always been exposed to that lifestyle. I never knew, like, another route to be what you want to be. And, like, at the end of the day, what I want to be is, like, a therapist, a psychiatrist, a counselor, like that's what i want to do and i didn't realize there are different methods to still get to what i want to do what i want to be how i can do it like i didn't know that so this whole scholarship this program has given me the opportunity to see that and to realize i don't need to sit here and go through the stress of doing these classes that don't interest me and paying all this money and using all these years of my life to get to something i can do sooner than later and I can do it on my own terms. So I was in this class, Organic 2 Chemistry. Y'all, if you know me, I'm a scholar. I made all A's in high school, like never made a B. I made all A's my sophomore year here. Like I'm a, I make, I make good grades. Like I don't, I try not to make C's. I don't even count. You left came and like really messed me up like my first um year and like wasn't having it. But other than that, I don't, I don't make below a B. Like, I don't, we, we try not to do that right here. We don't do that. So, you know, like, classes, no matter how hard they are, I'm always get through them. I'm always trying to see it through the end. Like, it is what it is. But it is something about this semester. I don't know if it was COVID, along with the professor, along with the class and the teacher. So, like, everything just piled up in one. It just made me realize, why am I doing this? Like, is this really what I want to do for the next year and then four plus for med school as well like is this really what i want to do am i interested in this like i understand you know school is school and you're not going to enjoy it but it's like if i'm going to school and i'm paying all this money or regardless if i'm getting educated like i want to be passionate about what i'm getting educated about i want to be interested in it i don't want it to be draining i don't want to sit here and avoid like doing the work all the time like no and i started to realize like yeah this just isn't what I want. This isn't the way I want to go about things. This isn't the method that I want to use for school. And that's when I realized, like, yeah, I don't want to be a doctor anymore. Like, let me not say it like that as far as I don't want to be a doctor. I don't want to sit here and go through those treacherous years of school if I just feel like I'm not passionate about it. Especially, like I said, when I can find other ways to do the work that I want to do, how I want to do it without doing all of that. Like, I found that through my program, like through my research lab, my um coordinator, also known as your PI, she is literally a counselor. And you know, she does research. And like, when people think of research, it's not like you probe in mouses or anything. Like you literally sit here and you get a group of people and you talk about them and you talk about their experiences and you ask them about it. And then you take all of that information and you analyze it and you look at the bigger picture and see where the trauma is and how to help assess it, how to help heal it, how to help them. And it kind of used that for everybody in a collective. And I think that is beautiful. That is what I want to do. Like I really realize like that's that's what I'm passionate about I'm passionate about helping people I'm not passionate about diagnosing people and about giving people medicine but I want to actually help you I feel like I can help you more with words and through practices than like just medicating you like I've never been a fan of just giving somebody medication and that's when I really realized like duh why would I go to med school and then if if I'm realizing like that's not what I want to do so again like all of this would not have happened had COVID not happened had the things that happened in my life the way they did had they not played into this role I wouldn't be where I am today I wouldn't have this self-actualization and self-realization like I just wouldn't have this mindset of a bigger picture and so now I feel like I'm kind of up in the air, but I'm also grounded and I'm focused. But like, I realized my path in life isn't as clear as I once thought it was. Like, you know, I'm going to go to college. I'm going to graduate. I'm going to go to med school. I'm going to graduate. I'm going to do my residency. Okay, boom, I'm a doctor. And then I'm going to be like 28, 30 years old, finally being a doctor. Like, no. Looking back, that's not what I want. That isn't how I want to live my life. Like, 
I didn't expect to even have a business. I wasn't thinking about opening a business a year ago, but yet here I am. And my business has been really successful. Like I can just see the growth in my business. Like it will be six months of me opening January 1st, which is tomorrow from when you guys will see this video. Six months. And within those six months, you know, like I said, like, my, my, I just see my sales growing. I can see the money that's coming into my pocket growing, although I'm not seeing, like, the actual, like, benefits of getting the money. It's going to come, and I know it's going to come through the work that I have been doing and, like, just the way I've been promoting myself and just trying to brand. Like, I just know the passion that I have isn't going anywhere, and it's that passion and that drive that I know is going to take me far, and that's why I have so much hope and potential for 2021 because i just know like this drive isn't going to go anywhere if anything it's going to get stronger because as i see that more success is coming it's like i'm going to keep reaching for it and you know my friend um she made me realize i don't give myself enough credit for what i do like i i've done a lot in my little 20 years of life i say little but i, I mean i've been alive for like two decades but within my 20 years of life i have really done a lot and um you know it's like I don't use those things to be cocky. Like, I never look at those. Like, when I wake up in the morning, I don't think, oh, I'm a business owner. You know, I'm an Excel scholar. Oh, I don't got to work. Like, I don't think about that. Every day when I get up in the morning, I'm really more so just thinking about how can I improve? You know, what can I do to better myself? What can I do to better my business? Like, I'm always reaching for a goal. And I just feel like with that mindset, with that mindset, it keeps me humble and it keeps me focused. And it just keeps like the bigger picture in the way. But I've also realized through that mindset that I learned to not have really lived in the present and appreciate what I have done and appreciate where I am right now. And that's something else that I have realized through 2020 that you can't rush life and that you have to be patient and know that things are going to come and they're going to come in their own time and that's what I learned just like I said throughout 2020 because in 2019 I was rushing to get a job and I was rushing to get money and I was rushing to be stable and this that and the third when it was going to come in its due time I just had to put in the work have the faith and just really go for it so you know like that's i feel like that's like the biggest piece of advice i could give anyone who's watching this video like have faith and put in the work and just know like if you have something in mind nothing is going to stop you from getting there like once you have that goal once you have it locked in once you plant that seed the flower will grow and blossom you just have to water it give it its sunlight like you know you just have to really nurture it and you will get what you manifest in the end and I think, like, that's really crazy. It's really beautiful. And, like, that's something that I've realized throughout this year, throughout me going through my own journey, just just throughout it all. I'm just starting to see, like, you just, you have to just be patient. And that's why I say, like, I just feel like this year was just a year for really you, for really me, for really us to just sit back and just think and appreciate. So, you know, like, for you listening right now are you like really listening to the words i'm saying or are you just you know letting it go in one ear out the other are you sitting here scrolling on your phone like are you really being in tune with yourself and present in the now so that's what i'm really looking forward to working on still because like my patience still isn't there i still have to work on myself like i know for a fact like my i have a like an attitude problem kind of like not kind of but i know i let i let things get to me that shouldn't and that overall can affect how i am how i feel how i act so like that's something that i'm definitely going to be working on as i keep moving on into this new year into 2021 um i'm working on just like like i said a lot of self-growth i'm really just trying to figure out my path i'm not going to say for life because at this point i don't want to look too far into the future but i'm definitely trying to navigate a path for as far as i can go so you know like just working on growing my business i'm rebranding my business i got some like stuff that i want to come out with with packaging like really just working on that you know um now that i'm in a break from school i really needed a mental break from school because i don't know this semester was really really draining again that class or go to like it just 
Ugh. The teacher, his teaching style was horrible. The stuff that he would give was horrible. The test was horrible. You couldn't go back and look at your answers. You couldn't go back to questions. He wouldn't show you the right answers to home. Like it was like, it was really draining. It was really draining. He always gave a lot, it was just horrible. And then, you know, I was taking, I was taking, I had like seven classes, I think overall, like seven things I had to attend to when you look at this semester. So I definitely had a lot on my plate. So now that i'm on a break and you know i don't have a job i'm just sitting here chilling i've been going back and forth from home to my apartment um i just have a lot of time to focus on me which is what i've really been wanting to do so much i've been researching and when i say research you're like researching things that i want to learn about things that i'm passionate about so like i've really been kind of getting into astrology and like learning how like the planets can affect us like like i said my spiritual journey just in general i've really begin been getting into that you know like i said i have my crystals my crystal collection you see my bracelets and everything like i just really been getting in tune with myself and just doing my research i've been reading more i've been journaling i've been putting like more focus into my business and i haven't like been posting and i haven't bought merchandise i'm doing like a lot of behind the scene works because i'm really getting prepared for 2021 like i said i'm trying to rebrand myself trying to get stuff out there because i just know i can feel it i just feel it things are gonna take off in 2021 things are gonna be great and like not just for me i'm telling you but for the people who really put in the work and for the people who have that drive i'm telling you it's taking off 2021 is taking off mark my words like i can't wait to come back and look at this video like in a year from now and just you know just just see how the year has treated me and i just pray and hope that it has treated me as well as i proclaim it now but when you're really speaking into existence it can happen so that's what i'm doing but like i said i'm just getting prepared for that um as far as like goals i just really want to i want to work on myself emotionally and i want to make sure that i look at how i react to things and realizing that other people's actions don't affect me only i can really affect me um, I really want to get into like working on myself physically. I definitely need to eat better along with going to the gym. So that's like all of the things that I'm saying that I want to do for the new year are the things that I've been doing or the things that I'm implementing now. Because I just feel like we shouldn't use the new year, I just feel like, to just be that guy. Like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. Because that's where a lot of people fall short. Like, at this point, what you want to do, like, why wait tomorrow when you can do it now? why wait until january 1st when you could do it december 31st or november 30th or september 18th like you don't have to wait for a specific day to change like you you can start it now so that's just the things that i've been doing the things that i have been reaching towards just what i've been thinking and, and you know like i'm just really excited i'm really excited because throughout this whole journey of this year i've grown a lot i have grown a lot i have realized a lot i feel like i just have a lot more knowledge i'm more knowledgeable i feel like i feel like i have a lot of things that i can pass now to other people a lot of gems a lot of resources a lot of ways that i can help others and lord knows if i can do it i will like one thing I'm really passionate about, one thing I have always been passionate about is helping people. So whether it's me sitting here giving out food to homeless people, because me and my friend definitely did that. I made um, spaghetti one time and I weighed way too much spaghetti and I was like, I'm not gonna throw this away. So what I do, I sat here, made plates, baked garlic bread, put water bottle in every bag. And I would just pass on like homeless people because like, if I can, I will. Like, that's another reason why I'm just, talking so greatly and heavily about my business taking off because then i know for a fact i'm going to be at that point to where my business is going to be able to help provide to where i you know where i live be able to pay for where i live be able to provide the food i put into my mouth and then be able to provide other expenses that i want along with me and when i have that surplus of money to where i know that i'm straight i'm definitely giving it back to the people who been helping me out and to the people who've been in need because i like, i just feel like that's that's what i'm here for that's my passion that's that is what i want to do i want to help people like i'm always giving out free advice i'm always giving out free help like i always say my dms are open people actually be asking me questions about businesses all the time i'm not afraid to share that with you because 
I'm here to help. Like, why sit here and hold back when it was free for me? You know, like, don't get me wrong. I'm not finna sit here and just spill out every single thing I'm doing, but I would definitely help you, guide you in the right direction. I mean, I'm not afraid to give out websites. Like, like no. Nah. And that's what a lot of people, I just feel like, fail to realize. But whatever. It's a work in progress. We have a lot to evolve with in this world and as people but you know like like i said i've been getting into astrology and everything and people like they say that we're in the aquarian age because actually like they say december 21st is when we hit it but a lot of people say like we actually just got into it like a couple days ago but i don't know one thing i don't kind of like about astrology is like how broad and how like many theories that it is in there but overall the overall picture is like pretty cool and like yeah but yeah so like but you know they say that this is the age for like rebellion and transformation and people going into communionists and like wholeheartedly thinking like just helping the community helping other like a humanitarian type of thinking so i'm really excited because if this is true i mean first of all i'm an aquarius and like i think that's true because like i think that just aligns with what i'm about how i am like i feel like a lot of things that i've been seeing is, is just true it's true like it ain't no see it's true like it really relates to us so if you know this age is what they really say it is and it works how it will the next like i mean 200 years even though we won't be here for all of it but it's definitely going to start with us so i don't know i'm just really excited for that um guys you know i just i wish the best for you at 2021 i wish the best for all of us and when i say all of us i mean everyone everyone like you have to just I, you just you have to wish the best for everyone no matter how they do you no matter what harm they cause because at the end of the day you can only affect you and like it's just you it's just you like it's only you in here it's, it's only you that wishes that it hates you like it's just us so you know definitely have your goals definitely make sure that you have the right people around you definitely make sure that your mindset is right you know do you are you working towards what you want and if you're not how are you going to get there are you where you want to be in life right now and if not how will you get there like are you doing the proper things in life right now and if you're not how will you get there to do those proper things like just really i feel like do just a lot of self-realization and actualization if you have not already because again we've been home with covid during this pandemic so i feel like this was the time for self-growth this was really the time for self-growth so um i hope you guys like enjoyed my little rambling so like i said this was more so like an open note to myself but i really hope that what I was talking about resonated with somebody or was entertaining or I mean I don't know I just hope that it helped and I don't know this this is one thing I love about YouTube because you can post whatever you want and you can really be yourself and that's another thing that I'm, that I'm like really excited about 2021 um as well as like you're on my YouTube channel and I'm um, just like really being myself like and just like kind of getting out of my shy I ain't gonna say because I mean obviously I'm not shy if I could sit here and record these videos and stuff but I don't know I just I'm just I love YouTube because of the creativity like the sky's the limit like you don't have to just have a certain pattern and be a certain way like the fact that I can even just make this video and feel comfortable enough to talk about the things I have and put it out for others to see and know that eventually it will get to someone and it's gonna touch them like I that's cool that's what i love but yeah um i hope that you guys enjoy my part car combo video this is what i want in 2021 this is what i want for y'all in 2021 just like i said self-growth self-actualization success money wealth financial security stability like everything i just manifest nothing but greatness and positivity towards all of y'all towards y'all way like i'm telling you if, if you have the mindset and you have the drive just keep working at it and it's gonna come keep working at it and it's gonna come you can't give up you can't give up because once you give up then like what are you doing like you don't have that work ethic so you're not putting in the work therefore you're not going to get to where you want so i'm telling you don't give up keep it going big things are coming great things are coming like i said thank you so much for watching my video if you enjoy you know go ahead and like comment definitely subscribe for more and this was kind of like a vlog like a talk like i don't know i might do more videos like this because this is really cool like if we get some like cool topics to talk about like for sure we would definitely do more of these videos like i said i could post whatever i want for it it's youtube like I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> but again, thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.